what is going on guys today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a 1.11 minecraft server so currently at this moment 1.11 is the newest version for minecraft and it actually just came out today but by the time you're watching this it might be like two days later but anyways with that being said i'm going to show you the easiest way that i know of to make a minecraft server and just how to run it and and manage your server this is the best way possible just follow these steps and you'll have a minecraft server running perfectly okay so the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on the link in the description for bucket gui now bucket gui is a program that we're going to be using and it will pretty much create your server for you which is the best part so go ahead and this has no virus whatsoever I can go ahead and tell you that this is like from the legit bucket site anyways go ahead and download it click on download and it will download right away I just want to go ahead and apologize if I sound a little weird it's because I'm a little sick anyways go ahead and drag it to your desktop when you're done it should look like that and then now what we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to want to create a folder for this you go ahead and right click click new click on folder you can call this whatever you want I'm just gonna call it minecraft server you can call it like 1.11 minecraft server whatever you want like I said so go ahead and drag that bucket GUI in that folder and then there we go but now we need one more thing so go ahead and click on the second link in the description and that will take you to the spigot.jar file website we're gonna need this dot jar and we're gonna need it 1.11 and what this file will do it will pretty much tell your minecraft server what version of minecraft you want your server to run on now obviously we're gonna want 1.11 but if you guys are interested in anything older you can just scroll down and you can see all the versions here but like I said we're gonna want spigot 1.11 so make sure that it just says spigot 1.11 latest dot jar not latest shaded that you don't want to have that in there and not spigot API you don't want any of that in there so just spigot latest dot jar not API not latest shaded so go ahead and click on direct download or you can actually just click on spigot latest.jar that also works and hit keep and then go ahead and drag this inside of that folder we just created the minecraft server folder all right so now we can go ahead and open up the bucket gui program all righty so here we go it has a little nice interface and not only will this create your server but this is going to let you run your server like you can run everything just from this program you can do a lot of things actually so I'm gonna quickly go over like what comes on this program on the console tab these are all tabs on the console you can see the players are currently on your server they'll pop on the list right here you can say things to your server or like that will repeat on your server just by typing in anything right here this is the console right here this whole box and so when we start a server a lot of things will pop up right here you'll see later and it'll tell you like how much RAM you're using and stuff like that. So there's a players tab, which will also have the player's name, the IP address, the time that they got on, and where they're located at. And then there's a starter tab. This is how we created our server. So let's go ahead and do that. So under the server type, check spigot. And then under Java version, it will already have what you need. And if this, if you have any problems in this, this is very important. If you have any problems in this video, what you want to do is you want to install a fresh version of Java 8. So that will be in the description. It will be really fast and simple. If you have any problems, just reinstall Java or get a fresh version of Java. So the next thing is under jar file, click these three dot dot dots and then click on spigot, which will be in our Minecraft server folder. Click spigot, click open. And then the next thing is what you want to do is you want to find out how much RAM your computer has. So under here in the little search thing, you can type in my PC and it'll pop up with this PC. So just right click on that, right click and click properties. So on this, this will tell you how much RAM you have. I have eight gigabytes. So this will tell you how much RAM you can give to your server. The more RAM you give to your server, the less laggy your Minecraft server will be. So currently at the max RAM, we only have one gigabyte down. One important thing is you don't want to give all your gigabytes to your Minecraft server because literally that is everything that your computer has. My computer has eight, so I'm just going to give four at the most. So depending on whatever you have, just uh, divide it in half or just maybe a little bit more than half. You just type in Google how many megabytes is six gigabytes or how many megabytes is two gigabytes. Um, so f about 4,000 is four gigabytes. So we're going to go with that right there. And now what we can do is we can click on launch server. Bam, there we go. All right, so now it's starting the server. 
and we're gonna run into a problem that everyone first runs into first things first we have to go back in a Minecraft server folder we have to open this EULA click on edit and change false to true this is this is just something that everyone has to do so just click on save exit out of that now we can restart our server start it back up this pops up just make sure to hit allow access all right so now it is officially done because it says done right here and this is the console like I said so anything that happens in your server will pop up here I'll let you know we can go ahead and stop our server or restart it or run a task to prove that our server is currently running and we actually have a minecraft server now I'm gonna test this out for you guys so as you guys can see I'm currently running 1.11 if we go to multiplayer direct connect and then you can type in local host and click join server and bam we are currently in our own minecraft server I know it feels awesome and but most of you guys are probably wondering well how do I get my friends to join or how do I get random people to join well I'm gonna show you so the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and stop your server if it's running go to the forwarder tab the next thing that you have to do this is important to let anyone else on your minecraft server you have to port forward what port forwarding is it opens up a port and allows anyone across the internet to connect to your internet connection that might sound confusing but anyways the, the point is you have to port forward so on the forwarder tab keep in mind it says experimental so this might not work for everyone's router so under here under minecraft server it has your IP it has the port leave everything all that the same make sure TCP is checked and click on add now in the last video I was able to click on add but now I'm not able to do that and if you ever dealt with that problem in the last video that's because it's not compatible with your router I got a new router so it's not compatible with mine I can't click on add but if you're allowed to do that just click on TCP add give it a couple seconds it'll pop up right here and the next thing you want to do is you want to check UDP click on add and then there you go your officially port forwarded and then I'll show you what to do after I port forward for the rest of the people if that doesn't work for you we're gonna port forward the rest of the people including myself what you want to do is you want to click the Windows key in R that will open up run and then you want to type CMD hit enter and you want to type in IP config so this will give you a couple numbers that you need to note down especially the IPv4 address the default gateway those are the two things you need to type so in your internet browser you're gonna to want to type your default gateway okay so for me it's this number right here and you want to hit enter it might bring up a username and password for most people it's admin and then password alright so if you don't know the username and password um, what you want to do is you just want to google the name of your router so this is the name of my router and then you're going to type in username password and that will just the first link will usually tell you what the username and password is so mine is admin password and that's actually username and password for most routers okay and then you're going to locate anything that says port forwarding so everyone's router is different so if mine's not under wireless nope it's not we're going to go to the advanced tab and then we're going to click on administration and it's not under that either we're going to click on advanced setup there we go we have port forwarding and then usually you can just type in your IPv4 address which is right there you're going to type it in you want to type the port 25565 and you just want to click add but for some reason mine's a little extra I have to click on add custom service and then I have to type in and then for the name I type in minecraft because we're port forwarding for minecraft make sure it's on TCP slash UDP okay and then you're going to type in 25565 25565 pretty much with anything that says port number you just want to type in 25565 okay and then the internal IP address that is your IPv4 in this black box alrighty so there we go and then you just click on apply I already have it added so I'm not going to add it again and then after that your friends can join I'll show you what to give them so go to ipchicken.com and then this is the IP address you give random strangers or even your friends and this will let them be able to join your server obviously when it's on so just give that to them and you guys can have all the fun you want to so I went ahead and added all my information in and as you guys can see my server is currently on if I connect to it it will be that ex same exact server that I was just on earlier and there we go we are in that same exact server so 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did and if it worked for you, make sure to drop a like. Anyways, the next step for you guys would be is to add plugins to your server. What I do on this channel is plugin tutorials. So I'll give you guys the best plugins to use. So make sure to click on that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Anyways, guys, make sure to have a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.